Trump hammers the courts, and his court chosen one hits back. Crevices start to surface amongst Trump and his Supreme Court chosen one, who depicted as crippling and demoralizing the president's allegations that court's position on his displaced person official requests were so political. President Donald Trump's amplified feedback of the legal has provoked a reprimand from his candidate for the Supreme Court, who told a congressperson the president's remarks were dispiriting and debilitating. Judge Neil Gorsuch, who was named by Trump to the country's high court a week ago, made the remarks Wednesday, after Trump denounced an investigative court considering his movement and exile official request of being so political. During the end of the week, the president marked a judge who led on his official request a purported judge and alluded to the decision as silly. Gorsuch's remarks came toward the finish of his first entire week of gatherings in the Senate, which is thinking about his designation. His reaction may have been gone for drawing a line of partition from the new president, who has been a politically polarizing figure among Democrats in an exceptionally charged factional battle about the court. Before the judge is meeting on Capitol Hill, Trump pummeled the court that is pondering his migration and exile official request. He cited from the segment of the movement law that he said gave him the ability to sanction the boycott, calling it wonderfully stated, and saying an awful secondary school under said he would comprehend this. Courts appear to be so political, and it would be so extraordinary for our equity framework on the off chance that they would have the capacity to peruse an announcement and make the wisest decision, he included. What's more, that needs to do with the security of our nation, which is so critical. Trump's remarks came as the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals is measuring the interest of his official request on migration, including a transitory travel restriction on individuals from seven Muslim lion's share nations, in a hearing Tuesday. Judge is on the interest court tested the organization's case that the boycott was spurred by psychological warfare fears. Gorsuch joined the feedback in a meeting with Senator Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut. Blumenthal, a previous state lawyer general, said Gorsuch portrayed the president's remarks about the legal as crippling and dispiriting. Gorsuch's affirmation group affirmed the judge's remarks. Blumenthal told columnists that he had advised the judge he would need to denounce Trump's assaults on legal autonomy openly. It should be a solid judgment, and that sort of open judgment is essential to build up his freedom, Blumenthal said. Something else, the American Open will infer that he will probably be an elastic stamp. We need to permit you to carry out your occupation, he said. Also, we need to give you the weapons that you need, and this is a weapon that you acquire and fair attempting to remove it from you. The president has over and over said individuals are pouring in since the boycott was put on hold and recommended that hindering the request would be hazardous for U.S. residents. On Wednesday morning he tweeted, 
huge increment in movement into our nation from specific regions, while our kin are significantly more defenseless, as we sit tight for what ought to be easy d. The organization has not given any data to bolster his cases, traditions and border protection. The organization responsible for screening individuals who touch base at U.S. ports, including air terminals, has not reacted to different solicitations to detail what number of visa holders from the seven assigned nations have been permitted into the United States since an elected judge incidentally obstructed the legislature from executing the travel boycott. The State Department beforehand said less than 60,000 visas were temporarily repudiated after the request was marked, and those individuals would now be permitted to go to the U.S. Trump's request prohibited go to the U.S. for individuals from Syria, Sudan, Iraq, Iran, Somalia, Yemen and Libya. It additionally suspended the nation's outcast worldwide program, 